so we start bagging up like okay um is the police coming or what like so once everybody starts backing up we start to see people running and i'm like why is everybody running oh my gosh what's going on know what it is and what to do i'm back with another video for y'all y'all already can see by the title today we are going to be doing a i was about to say a giveaway i'm dead i'm going to be doing a story time um i don't believe i did the story time yet i hope i didn't i don't believe i did though if i did i'm sorry because i don't feel like going through all my youtube videos i don't believe i did though okay anyways other than the story time, I will be putting together my nephews and my little sister's um, Easter baskets. So, y'all are going to go in do the, on the journey with me to do that. So, before I get started, let me make sure that my camera is getting my whole body because I recorded before and it cut my head off. So, I just want to make sure. But before I do that, make sure y'all like, y'all comment, and y'all subscribe to my channel. If y'all haven't already done what are you doing, go do it right now because I'm not playing with you. Go do it now. I got time. I got time today. I got time today. So, if you don't go subscribe, I'm coming for you. Period. Okay, so I'm in the perfect spot. So... We're good. Okay, so, so obviously the like whole part of this story time is, um, thinking I was gonna go to jail for real, for real. I was scared. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go pull. I'm gonna pull out all this stuff, and I'm gonna try to talk as I go, because yeah. Or maybe I'm gonna take all the stuff out first, and then because I don't want the bag to be making noises. So give me one second. sister obviously it's a colorful girly looking one this one is for my bink baby my little nephew my younger nephew that's Paris and this one is for PJ it says somebody loves you this is for the older nephew okay so now that I have everything everything out the bag we are going to get started so um of course we got to start with this stuff so so this is how the story time goes me and two of my other friends um this was like i don't know what year this was this was like when i was in probably ninth or tenth grade and what happened was what happened was we were all um, planning to go to this party. So we were all planning to go to this party. Um, so we all met up at one of my friend's houses, one of them, their houses. We all met up at one of their houses. I'm not gonna say their names because I don't know if they want me to say their names. Like, so I'm just, they're just gonna be called they. So, <laughs> um, we went to one of the girls' houses, one of my friends' houses, and we, like, got together. We got ready, got our makeup done and all that stuff, got dressed together, and da 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 So, we go to the other friends. We, her, um, one of her family members comes and picks us up, and we go to her house. And from there... From there, we uh, went and dropped our stuff off, and then she took us to the party. So once we get to the party, there is people outside, like, walking away from the house where the party was. And we're like, what's going on? Why is everybody walking away from the party? So I see my little, like, 
person I was with at the time. And I go up to him asking, like, um, what's going on? Like, why is everybody outside? Uh, mind you, the police were there, so obviously I was actually asking a dumb question. Everybody was outside because the police came and shut it down. So everyone's like, it's okay, it's okay, because it's a party in the house. Um, not that far from here. We're just going to take it there. So me and my friends, we get to this party. And... Um, we get to this party and it's outside like they didn't tell us it was a whole basically a whole bonfire like they didn't tell us that they just told us it was a party at this place and just um make sure y'all go okay i didn't think about this stuff i got them and like how it's gonna fit all together but it should be alright. okay so um so yeah but like we didn't know it was outside so like um this is kind of this is kind of funny like i didn't expect it to be outside so i don't have no jacket and i'm always the type that wants to bring a jacket to a party or anywhere um i'm the type that always wants to bring a jacket because i'm i get cold easily like i get cold quick so my friends talked me out of bringing the jacket so i didn't bring a jacket so we get to this party we're all chilling um, they rolling up, we about to get ready to smoke, and then the police shows up, and, and we all first, we didn't even see the police, we see a flashing light, and then we see everybody running towards us, so once we see everybody running towards us, we're like, what the freak is going on, so we start bagging up, like, okay, um, is the police coming or what, like, so, once everybody starts bagging up, we start to see people running, and I'm like, why is everybody running out, oh my gosh, what's going on, so, um, so we once we saw the police um somebody had the blunt in their hand and they threw the blunt or dropped it or whatever because they see the police and they got scared so they just dropped the blunt so i'm just like dang just dropping in our stuff like what are you doing so um okay i can't do this like this it's not gonna be enough room okay so okay we're gonna just keep on so yeah i'm trying to figure out why are we outside like it's cold so okay that's when the, po the police has showed up and everything so everybody running this girl jumps over the fence and gets stuck she just standing there like and she looking back in the police like just flashing the light we all just staring at her like girl if you don't get your goofy ass down like she was real life stuck and like she couldn't even get all the way over the fence like everybody was literally jumping over this high ass fence i know my short butt can't get over the fence so i just stood there like there was nothing more i could do y'all running like y'all did something wrong you don't run when you see police i'm sorry i'm not gonna run when i see police i'm gonna like i'm gonna stay because you don't know they could have started shooting you don't know how police be around here like i don't so i stood there they had um they had started talking to me and my friends they were asking like how old we was and then they asked if any of us were driving luckily none of us were driving obviously because her godmom dropped us off there so none of us were driving so like he had asked one of the other girls that was next to us it wasn't girl it wasn't a girl that we were with but it was somebody we knew um and she was actually driving so he told her to say her abcs and she was like abcdefg he was like okay you can slow down like but no i would have did it the same way because you really just told me to sing my abcs and thinking i can't sit here and sing them like i understand like when you drunk like they probably was doing it like that because when you drunk like you slur your words or something like that but she she did that shit with no hesitation like get out my face with the sitting in here trying to meet them. then i can't talk right because my dog freaking barking let me make sure it's still recording okay yeah so so yeah he had made her sing her abc so that's when we had walked away we left we started walking back to the house um because i guess her fam her godmom was already sleep or her mom was the one who took us so i'm just gonna say her godmom. her godmom was already asleep so we had started walking back and then this car pulled up in front of us with some dudes in it and they was just basically trying to hit on us we telling them that we're young like no we was too young for y'all and um they was like we got smoke we got weed y'all can smoke with us i'm like no like no we is not on none of that like we're tr literally trying to get home y'all being thirsty like get out of here go find somebody y'all age go to madden's or whatever whatever other bar y'all want to go to anyways um so 
Yeah, so once they drove off, we had started walking, and then the police had came driving down the street, so they start running, so I start running with them. I'm like, why is y'all running? Like, don't run. They like, I guess they were thinking that the police were going to stop us from walking, like, trying to figure out why was we walking, and probably asking us more questions, so... They have ran um, behind this person's house and ducked, and I had ran too, but then my leggings got stuck to the fence, so I'm literally, like, pulling away from the fence, trying to get off of it, and I finally get off the fence, and then I get down on the ground with them, so then once the police drive past, um, we get back on the uh, sidewalk and start walking, and then somebody yells on their porch and was like, they coming, they coming again, so we get into some bushes and hide, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this is the worst, so then... We finally get back to the house. We'll speed it up. We finally get back to the house. Um, but she forgot to leave the door unlocked and she didn't bring a key. So we're literally stuck outside and it starts to rain. I'm cold. I start crying low key. I'm like, y'all, we stuck. We stuck outside. We got to sleep out here. Y'all told me not to bring a jacket and I wanted to bring one and now I'm freezing to death. So um, we ended up not being able to get into the house. We tried to get through the window and all, tried knocking on the window, banging on the window, trying to get her to wake up to, um, come let us in, but that didn't happen. So we ended up leaving and going with one of the girl, the girl who lived there. We went to, we went with her, um, another one of her family members. We went and we turned up with them a little bit, went driving around and then we went back to the house and finally we, we got into the house. Once we got into the house, her godmom was wondering, like, where we were and what we was doing and stuff. And we were, like, we were trying to get into the house, but we couldn't, so we had left. Um, but, like, it was, it was crazy. Like, that was, that whole night was just crazy. It was hectic. It was stressful. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Like, it was so much that went on. Like, um but i can't lie that was one of the most funnest nights of my life like it was a it was a fun experience like being a kid around that age you know stuff like that is like yolo you only live once type stuff like we literally was running from the police and stuff and i've never did that in my life that's my first time I ever running from police thinking that we was actually gonna get in trouble for something like we were kids though and we were scared we were at an older person's party so um we were about 16 probably and the other girl was about 14 15 so yeah but it was still fun it still turned out fun in the end we still turned up still have fun at the little party that we did go to um but yeah so that's really that's really all to that story time um uh oh no it's not all to that story time so once we got back to her house and we finally got in her godmom was wondering where we were and stuff and that's what we had said so then me and my other friend we had one upstairs while she was still talking to her godmom we had one upstairs got our pajamas on and stuff hold on i gotta grab some stuff but we had um went upstairs put our pajamas on and stuff take our makeup off like got comfortable grabbed some chips because she had a little mini fridge in there we grabbed some chips and was like laying together like as friends um how girl girlfriends are like and we was just chilling like because we was cold from being outside so so um then she had came upstairs and was like uh y'all gotta go home she said y'all gotta go home and i'm like are you kidding me like my mom is not gonna come all the way down all the way here to pick me up like she sure is not so i'm like oh, are you kidding me like we really gotta go home and um she was like yeah she gonna take y'all though so we had put our stuff back on got in the car went home once i got home and i came to the house my mom was like what happened and i'm like i'm just gonna tell you in the morning because i was looking that stuff i was high i was drunk and i didn't want her knowing so yeah but yeah um that is all of that story time um, so at, by the end of the night, we all ended up back home. <laughs> we were all supposed to stay at, um, her house, but we all ended up back home because of everything that went on that we did not expect to happen. We didn't expect our night to go as crazy as it did. Um, but it did. So, yeah, their stuff can't fit in. I'm gonna have to take some stuff out the box, I feel like, and just set it in here. 
But I don't want to do that. Like, I want them to be able to open. Uh, okay. I'm going to just have to take it off the box. Just got to make sure I don't lose any pieces or anything. But... Yeah, this is hard to open. So yeah, I mean it was a good night. I'm not gonna lie though, it was a good night. Okay, so I guess this goes in his hand. Not in that. In this. No. Oh, it goes right here. Okay. So stick that. Oh, this doesn't go to him. This goes to Paris, and this goes to him. Yeah, I'm mixing up my toys. Like, this is so hard. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't even take his thing off. Okay. And then it's crazy because this is not even all the stuff I have to put in here. There's more. Like, because I got their cars. Well, I got his cars. Paris is fit in there because I don't really have, I didn't get much for Paris. I just realized, like, most of my stuff I got is for PJ. And now I feel some type of way. But, um, it's okay. So, I'm going to do, um, that's just going to wrap up this video, I guess. Um, I wanted to add more, but it'll be okay. Um, I'm, I'm obviously going to add more to their but while I'm on here, y'all won't be able to see me add more. So this is what their product is for now. Um, PJ has this also. I just can't fit it into there. He also has another thing, but I can't fit it into there either. So, yeah. So I'm going to take my my little thumbnail after. But I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoy my little story time or whatever. Please, please, please hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified when I post. Um... Please continue to support me and watch me as I go on this journey to succeed in this YouTube uh, industry. Like, I want to become bigger and better, and I will. And I'm about to keep growing out. I'm about to start doing back-to-back -back videos, posting every week. I'm about to get consistent. Like, don't don't bail out on me. Like, don't forgive up on me, y'all, because I promise y'all, this is my winning season. Like, last year was supposed to be my year for growth and getting myself together with YouTube, modeling, um stuff with TikTok uh and like different platforms and my uh business that I want to start so because of everything that happened with the virus and stuff and me losing my job um that last year this year is my time to come back I got my uh permit I'm getting my license soon I bought my own car at the beginning of this month so May May March 1st I bought my own car so if y'all want to comment and say congratulations thank you very much okay <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to start driving and going to get my license by the end of May. Hopefully before then. Maybe the end of April. Maybe the middle of April. Shoot, like, I'm going to be on the ground and start reading that book over there. Like, don't play with me. I'm on a m money mission, money-making mission. Like, and I'm getting up out of Ohio. Like, I'm getting out of Ohio soon. Like, coming soon. Like, it's not going to be as soon as y'all think, but it's coming soon. But I'm sure my first apartment going to be in Ohio. Mm. But it's okay. It's okay because I want, when I move out of this state, I want to move into a house. I don't want to move into an apartment. I want to move into a house when I move out of the state. Don't know if that'll happen because then I, then again, I want my house to be built. Like, so I wanted to wait once until I get up in my uh, careers and everything to um, be able to get my house built because I know that's going to be a lot of money and then we got to find like the perfect area and stuff like that. So you never know what's going to happen, but we're still um we're still gonna make it work and i'm bringing y'all on my journey and everything um so if i don't post another video well this is gonna be my video posting before easter if i don't post another video before then happy easter to you guys um i hope y'all enjoy it and i love you guys so much and yeah y'all already know stay uh stay way too extra way too extra and I love y'all extra game, but extra game, but we are out and we are done with this video and we wrap it, it up. I love y'all so much. Mwah, 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 mwah. If y'all ain't getting no baskets, maybe y'all get one for me.
It's like, no, give me a basket though. Send me a basket though. All right, I'm out. I love y'all. Peace.